Okay, so welcome guys to the Lazaro Lab, and today's guest is Mr. James Free. This gentleman I've known for, I don't know, how long have I known you? Quite a while? Feels mm -hmm. like it. 2008, 2007? Oh wow, it has been quite a while. We're, yeah. uh, we're a little older now, we're <laughs> wise. <laughs> it's, it's always funny because it's like, oh crap, I'm almost 40. Oh, like, yeah. It doesn't feel like it, no, but. No, no. It, it really yeah. doesn't. But uh, yeah, man, I really uh, wanted you to come on because we share some really similar ideals in, in terms of our, our the fitness journey and the fitness world. And um, and even I even eventually drank the Kool-Aid and started doing the some CrossFit um, reluctantly. But nonetheless, you know, here you are. So welcome. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll get the ball rolling. It feels kind of weird because all the other podcasts that we've been doing, I, I have like Ryan sitting here and like people are sitting around. But so it's kind of if you see me looking around, it's because I'm used to looking, looking for someone at, to look, ask another question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, nah, you know, one of the reasons also that I think it was uh, it would be really cool to talk about is, is just kind of give us a breakdown of where how did you find yourself in, in this uh, this this part of the industry you know or, or, or actually let me um, start off with what what you do and all of that fun okay. stuff and then go from there <laughs> all right so um, for the past 13 almost 14 years uh, I've been running 27 health and wellness uh, which is nutrition training pretty much all-encompassing um, I, I started working with uh, you know Diane Carlos oh yeah yeah. Yeah. Way, so, uh, <clears throat> what was that? Natomas. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, uh, I was living in Sacramento at the yeah. time and I've been in sports my whole life. Um, you know, played sports. No one ever taught me anything about sports, like nutrition and proper training and any of that stuff. So I started to kind of look into that stuff after I, I moved to California. Um, I was doing bodybuilding and it was just boring. <laughs> Um, yeah. and it's, and it, that's not to say that bodybuilders are boring. It's just, it's a very lonely and solitary sport. Oh, so a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I come from a team background and you know, you don't have team bodybuilders. Really, no, <laughs> no there, there really isn't because everyone's, everyone's competition in bodybuilding. Yeah. Everyone's going to get mean mugged, you know? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so I, I moved to California and I walked into a Max Muscle store one day and Diane Carlos was there and she just, the way the way she worked it was all about nutrition. Yeah. And I was hooked. I started like diving in deep at that point and that was 2005. Oh man. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there. So, so, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, I think I'm older than I you. I think you got me by a year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, she got me started on that. I, I own uh, now, obviously, I own Two Seven Health and Wellness, but I also own um, I co-own a gym, uh, CrossFit Trivium, in now in Brentwood, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a couple other businesses, Masters Fitness Collective, which is a events company for old people who CrossFit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, Masters is what thirty five and up. So or we have thirty to thirty four. So mm. it's thirty, essentially thirty and up. How dare you no. consider a thirty year old master? <laughs> I know, right? But you know, if you look at the games, yeah. If you're a guy, yeah, and you're thirty, you're old. You're, you're old. old. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we just created that, and, and then I have I'm part of another company called CHW, which is Collective Health and Wellness, and it's a. Uh, um, corporate wellness company yeah so nice yeah. that's awesome i like man. the work <laughs> yeah apparently you do yeah <laughs> i definitely think we have that in common oh like, yeah it's non-stop and you're also a dad now i am you're, you're, i am you got, you got yourself a little one man how, three how? months three months in it's uh yeah. it, it's the greatest thing i've ever done <laughs> harder than all the other work right <laughs> you know it's, i don't i don't want to jinx it but she's <laughs> really easy like she's the coolest little kid like she doesn't take after me yeah <laughs> like i'm high strung she's like just chill she's good she'll wake up she'll eat she'll sleep i mean it, it, yeah. it's pretty easy 
That's how my daughter was. My son, on the other hand, made me um, not want to have more kids. So, <laughs> so well, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we've been talking about the second one. We'll just we'll get through this first one and, oh, yeah. and see how that goes. So, <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah. Has it has it changed much in your daily routines? Um, you know, my my wife's off work, obviously uh, maternity leave. Um, so. I'm slowly changing my structure of my day. Um, we're going to have a nanny Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Nice. I'm going to be with her Tuesday, Thursday. So it changes the structure of my week. I now have an office off. Like usually I'm in my, in home mm. uh, is my office. But um, I have an office at the gym now. I'll see my clients there Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Nice. Uh, I'll be with my daughter Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, it, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a change because I'm used to working every day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it will be work, I'm assuming. So, you know. Yeah. It's it's yeah. fun when they're little. And then they get better, even better when they're older. Like my son is uh, 11 now. It's it's I'm like, "Man, I'm so happy that you could feed yourself and wipe <laughs> your own ass." You know, like <laughs> I you know, I've I've never wiped quite as many asses as I have um <laughs> recently, but it's uh it's definitely it's rewarding. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. of it is it's just a blast. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good. No, it's it's awesome to see how you still, you know, over the last few months. You know, I I, I follow all your stuff and it, it's wa watching you still do your your normal thing, man. And it's just like not skipping the beat, it seems like. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty lucky. Um yeah. I have a gym in my house. I have a gym <laughs> To, to go to um our our nanny is is from my gym so it's like we're already comfortable with her you know it, and my wife is like a superhero so you know it's there you go. that's what you i'm need. just here to support man i'm just i'm just here <laughs> to to you know change some diapers there you go nah man so what have you been working on anything new lately i know you got all, a bunch uh, of things going on like what's the is something new in the works or something you're working well, towards? I've, I've been working with, uh, I'm sure you've heard Nick Urankar. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working with him on Zeus Nutrition. Oh, I uh, saw that, do, yeah. Yeah. So we, we've been doing some like six-week informational challenges. And, and this isn't about, like when we put a challenge together, it's not about just like, all right, got to lose weight and then whoever loses the most weight wins. It's, yeah. it's body fat percentage. It's, yep. it's, figuring out your own macros like yep. we're trying to teach people how to do it rather than be like i'm going to rely on rp for the rest of my life oh yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah we won't get into rp uh, <laughs> it's okay we don't have to <laughs> but <laughs> but you know you know what i mean it's like it, it's it's really more about educating people uh and there's a lot of people out there that are willing to be educated so that's good no i that's that's honestly what where I feel like we see eye to eye, it's it's this whole intention to educate the client um, and, and customers or whatever you want to call them in that sense to, you know, actually lives a life that reflects something sustainable to them at least. Yeah, I mean, look at the world right now. Yeah, the people who are, <laughs> it's burning. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Well, California um, is still, which is- Oh, uh, that's, that's highly unfortunate. <sighs> Um, I love it here. You know, I, I hate to see anything like that. Um, you know, even despite Newsom and, <laughs> and what he's doing down there. Um, but you know, I, yeah. I, I mean, I hopefully, and I, I pray for the, all the people that are out there and, and affected by it. Um, but I mean, I, I think that, um, gosh, I lost my train of thought completely. Yeah, what the heck were we just talking about? <laughs> you lost. You, I'm yeah, lost. I know, man. Yeah, I'll ask the producer. No, we talked about something else after that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Teaching sustainability. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's what we. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Somehow we got off track there, but it's too yeah, easy. you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things where uh, I've been doing this for 13 going on 14 years now which is not longer than you've been doing it you've been doing it longer um but i've never had to market mm. like and i think that is indicative of how my clients view me so i'm not a, a subscription service i'm not one of those things where you have to keep paying me and paying me and paying me mm -hmm. if i do my job right eight to 16 weeks you yep. are on your way you know exactly what you're doing yep that's exactly yeah, you're, you nailed it right there. 
Why, why do you feel like there's such a disconnect? And probably is how I would refer to it is a disconnect in the ability for people to stop looking for these like quick fixes. Uh, social media, man. <laughs> social media is, is, is the, the bane the, of the nutrition industry, the, the actual yeah. nutrition industry, not the supplement industry. And I know you own a supplement company still. Yeah. Uh, I get it. <laughs> But I mean, it, it, what it really is right. Okay. <laughs> and that, you know what? And that's why I, I, that's what drew me to max muscle. Yeah. Honestly, originally. Yeah. Originally. And that's how I met you. I feel like originally I mean, that's how it was. Yeah, originally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Sean is doing now, but uh, it, it's not what, it's not what I signed on for, uh, in 2009. Yeah. Things changed. So it's okay. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um, you know, I, and I think that, that, the problem that comes out is that people think that if someone has abs, they know what they're talking about. Wait, you mean that's not true? <laughs> you mean a 22 so year old person that's never dealt with anything, any no issues life in life, experience. no life experience that has abs because they don't eat enough? <laughs> or, or they're gen like genetically predisposed. There's people out there that, that just are yeah. leaner. Or they're you genetically. Know. You know, predisposed. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Uh, yeah. Vitamin S is is genetic. Um, <laughs> but you know, I I think that you know, there's so many of those people out there, and they're flashy, and they have followers, and all that yeah. stuff, and it, and they're selling these detox teas, and they're selling wraps, and they're selling all this stuff that just it, it just accumulates. Yeah. Like, and then all of a sudden, you are so lost. You don't even know where to turn. You you start to just kind of like spiral, and yeah. people are just like, "Well, I don't know what to do anymore, so I'm just gonna eat donuts." Yeah, that's what. That's kind of one of the things I tell my clients is like, you you have to you have to constantly ask questions, otherwise mm -hmm. you're going to, especially when you're not sure, because when you're mm -hmm. not sure, when people are uncertain, they just end up resorting back to their normal behavior, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like I like? Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I liken it to like, so, you know, Tim Tebow. Yeah. All right. So he trained in Nashville before he got drafted mm -hmm. and they fixed his throwing motion in practice. It was beautiful. He looked like he could actually throw a pass, <laughs> but get into a game, oh. you get a pass rush on you, it you revert good. right back yep. to everything that you used to do. And that's what people do. That's exactly how I kind of equate it. Yeah. What do they say? Uh, you revert back to your lowest form of training under stress, right? Yeah. But that, that's yeah. like, and the funny thing is, I think people fail to understand that stress is, is a lot of things that they're not acknowledging, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like with your clients that you also run into just generally, well, let me ask you this, like with the people that you work with, is it that these people have no concept of eating correctly or are they just what what what's what's the thing that they're they're struggling with most with the people that you get to work with a lot of people just don't don't really they have so much information in front of them that mm -hmm. they can't distinguish what is right and what is wrong mm -hmm. you know or what is good for them and what is bad for them i try not to look at things as good foods and bad foods because i think you know yeah. foods food. um obviously you want to eat whole foods but i have some clients that I have I I have a thirteen year old fourteen year old CrossFitter, mm -hmm. and it's a female. Yeah, and like I'm trying to make sure that she has enough calories. Yeah, especially at that she age. Literally, yeah, she literally cannot eat enough. enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like she has she takes in. Yeah, she takes in as many calories as some of my my games guys. Oh, games goodness. games guys guys. Wow. Yeah. And she's, I mean, it's just, you, you look at people like that and she would have known she would have been eating 1800 calories. I got oh her eat gosh. like 30, 3,300 calories. Yeah. I get to work with some, some pretty spectacular athletes here. And even though a lot of them don't compete, but they're so ad adamant about increasing their performance and training and yeah. training and training that, you know, 120 pound woman should be eating more than 1200 calories because <laughs> that's a it's lot of crazy. what they say they do and mind yeah. you maybe they do a couple times a week and then followed by 5000 calories here and there <laughs> the inconsistency is is probably the biggest misconception out there they're like oh well i was perfect all week but you know then you know i had some stuff on the weekend well what's some stuff how do you quantify some, it some right <laughs> yeah you don't because you you're not counting it you don't have a plan when you go into it. like if i if i have my clients are like hey i'm going here yeah what do i do i'm yeah. like what do you want mm -hmm. 
and how can we make that work so you're not going above and beyond your calories so yeah. maybe we pull back a little bit i believe that if you use uh if it fits your macro style for like once a week mm -hmm. like not every day like we're not eating yeah. donuts and pizza over here you're not portion you know. control and pop tarts into your diet every yeah day. i yeah. mean that that's that that's what bastardized um if yeah. it fits your macros. i i like agree. People eat donuts and shit but i mean i think it <laughs> I, 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 it seems like I have a problem with donuts. I like donuts. Uh, <laughs> but that's why you keep bringing I, it up. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just on my head right now and I need it. Um, but I mean, I think that, that people fitting stuff in and fitting life in is the most important way to stick to a plan. Yeah. Otherwise, you're restricted and it's just going to lead to like a shit a Mount Vesuvius of blow ups, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah, that's, that's true. You know, I get a lot of... Um... Back in the day, I, uh, I don't know if you remember, I used to prep competitors, right? You know, like the bikini athletes and the physique yeah. athletes. And I stopped uh, for a number of reasons, but but it, it's, it's I get a lot of what I call recovering uh, athletes, uh, mainly because they, they can't integrate to no eat normally. You know, it's always like they want to go super extreme with just chicken and broccoli or something <clears throat> absurd like that. And then followed by the, the binge eating, essentially. I mean... <laughs> It's arguable they probably all have eating disorders. Maybe we all do, right? But you know, those those people end up benefiting so much more from just having and understanding that flexibility. You know, yeah. and it makes a tremendous impact on their on their psyche. I you know just being able to not be cra go crazy um, by feeling like all the oh I can't lose weight if I'm not doing two hours of cardio followed by tilapia yeah. and asparagus and you know whatever else or yeah. lack of <laughs> you know i first of all i'll never put tilapia in a plan oh. <laughs> I, I can't i can't <laughs> stomach it myself so i'm not oh, going to yeah. make anyone else eat that i try not um, to put chicken breasts in plans but people <clears throat> ask for it i'm like are, are you sure <laughs> yeah i i mean i i use i use kind of similar to what you used to i don't know what you use now mm -hmm. and i think it's probably the same as, as there's exchanges for everything oh yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. Yeah. So you're not you're not stuck eating chicken, broccoli, and rice all the time because that's oh, God, freaking no. boring. Um, but I mean, I think that you know people understanding that <clears throat> where foods fit. Mm -hmm. uh, I build everything around blood sugar, mm. so making sure that we can balance and maximize and, and keep it steady the whole day will essentially kind of like help raise your metabolism because then your body's not in flux constantly. Yeah, I find it's very common when, uh, particularly my female clients will be like, they'll skip a bunch of meals in the day and then their sugar levels are just taking a plummet at the end of the day. And then what do they do? They just start eating everything at the end of the night. And, you know, they're like, oh, I have a problem with eating at night. It's like, not really. You have a problem with <laughs> actually getting food in consistently throughout like the day. Like not eating during the day. Yeah, yeah. That's more or less what it is. And so... <clears throat> Yeah, that uh, it's it's interesting to, to talk to somebody else like yourself that does exactly you know pretty more or less what I do because yeah. it, it, the 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 people have there's nothing different in the sense of what's going on with the actual client. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. No, it really isn't. I mean, everyone's. I say everyone's unique because when you build out a plan, they are. They are. But yeah, problems are the same, and I learned this a long time ago. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone's got the same problems. It's how well, we react. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. That's that's nothing more true than that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you feel like you have to spend a lot of time? Uh, <clears throat> like, do you spend much time helping them understand how to re respond differently under those maybe different stressors or whatnot? Or um, I do a I, I do a lot of situational eating. I do a lot of walking people through menus. I do a lot of. Um, kind of being there like my phone's always yeah accepting text messages so <laughs> it's one of those things where it's it's making sure that i'm available so when they're in those situations they know what to do yep. because i've conditioned them to know yep yeah 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 that totally makes sense um you know over where you're at like is there are you in like a little pocket community of fitness people? Like I, I you know, that area, the, that part of the country isn't known for fit people. 
<laughs> no, that's why I still have a job, I'm assuming. Um, there's plenty of non-fit people. Uh, um, but I mean, I, I think I'm in a, yeah. the area I'm in is Williamson County. It's, it's pretty affluent. Um, it, I would equate it to somewhere down in like, I guess if I'm looking at like Sacramento or like NorCal, Roseville. it would probably be like San Jose. Oh, like San Jose. That's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the, the, the growth, the, I think we're fifth in the nation for gross household income. Wow. So in terms of expendable income, there's plenty of it and yeah. there's good and bads to that, you know, so people <laughs> just pay me and then disappear and they're like, well, I tried to, and I tried a nutrition guy and I'm like, no, you didn't no, try you didn't shit. Try shit. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. that drives me nuts. <laughs> you, you paid me. You paid me to be an excuse, yeah. and and yeah. I think that I try to. And the great thing about now is, I have the ability to say no, mm -hmm. like, and yeah. and I think that is the biggest thing. Like when I first started, it was like, so all right, yes to you got to take everyone. <laughs> Everyone that comes in and you were dealing with, you're bouncing your head off the walls. You're like, I trying wish to I could get rid of up. half of these people. <laughs> What's that? I said, I remember times I'm like, man, I wish I could get rid of half of these people. <laughs> We've got to, got to pay my mortgage. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, I mean, it's like, all right, well, I guess I'll just continue to do it. But <laughs> it's been, it, it's been wonderful um, to be able to, to take control of that, that part of it and, yeah. and make sure that. If you're coming to me, you're going to do the work yep. because effort is implied. Yeah. I have a little screening process to put everyone through because there's just no point, really. It's just a waste of their time and my time. And yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, I totally get it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's it, it, like I said, it, everyone's got the same. If you're doing it right, you have the same problems. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. if you're just, if you're looking at people as dollar signs and you're shoveling them through just to make sure you're making money, then. Yeah. That, that's not what I know. It doesn't last long either. No. You know, you're not really no, taking fair. care of people. That's, yeah, that's that's probably one of the biggest issues right there. I, I think that's Absolutely. what we see a lot online, right? Like, that's just, oh, yeah. you're just being uh, shoveled a bunch of crap, basically. Oh, man. A bunch, bunch of templates. Yeah, basically, is all it really comes down to. You know, Dude, what, I, yeah. I hired, uh, I hired one of those large companies just to see what they did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just to see, like, I was like, hey, let's figure out what my numbers are. I thought I was the only and person that did that. <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> I'm just I want to know what's going on. Yeah. I don't want people to be like, oh, well, I do Stronger You or I do RP. Well, I hired an RP coach, and she gave me 1,800 calories. And Really? Dude. Dude. Yeah. I was like, I, I want to lean up a little bit. This is where my lean body mass is. This, And I gave her all the information, 1,800 calories. Was that for, like, day. breakfast? <laughs> I was at 1,800 calories at, at 1030. Yeah, like, I was going to say. Dude, what what sure. am I going to do with myself? Man, I'd be uh, freaking out. That's, it, it was whoa, bad. 1,800. What the hell would they, what are they doing to come up with that number? I have no idea. And you're Maybe because my name's Jamie. I was a female. <laughs> <laughs> but you're you're like what six foot two twenty? <laughs> uh, you know, I'd like to be six foot. I'm five eleven. Oh, close um, enough. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you. No, I tell someone I'm six foot. They're like, mm. yeah, <laughs> it's well, okay. If if uh, just blame it on you being able to squat a lot, you know. So it's just yeah, it's kind of compressed cool. my spine, and I can't. I'm not tall anymore. <laughs> I'm probably not six foot anymore either. After. Uh, Re re religiously squatting and deadlifting every single week, but you know, rather be strong. <laughs> but strong people are hard to kill. So this is very true. <laughs> it's very true. So have you been? When's the last time you competed? In CrossFit? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think the last time I it was the age group online qualifier. Okay. Just um, recently, right? Was, yeah, it was. It was in May. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. if you should check his stuff out, he's a uh, he's he's totally a stud. Don't don't let him fool you. <laughs> I aspire you know, to be I, uh, a fraction of an athlete that he is. <laughs> this, this year was probably the most frustrating, just because it was like one movement that got me. Yeah, um, what was it? Double unders. Oh, it's hot, yeah, high you did double that, unders. yeah, this is stupid. This. That, but I mean, I was yeah. like 70th in the first workout. I was 30th in two of the other workouts. I was ninth in a workout, and then I was 364th. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So, and, and looking at the numbers, this is what sucks. If I did half as well, which isn't even good, <laughs> half as well, 
I was in, I was, I believe I was 17th and I would have gone to the games. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So did you ever compete in the games? Uh, uh, it's the literally the only thing I haven't done. I've done regionals twice. Yeah. I've, I've won. I've put. I've been on a podium at Granite Games in Wadapalooza. Okay. Okay. And it's like the only thing that's that's still out there. Now that I'm aging up into the 40s, maybe this will be the year. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, you're freaking killing it, dude. I still, you know, it's funny now. Now that I've consistently, you know, been doing CrossFit for a year, it's like. Wow, that's pretty fucking hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, but oh, I think no. that's why we like it, you oh, know. Oh yeah, um, it keeps me humble. Yeah. It really Oh yeah. Is. I lo- I'm every day is something that I just get my my butt kicked and then, yeah. you know, I have to pick it up and go then again the next day. I always joke around and say I just aspire to be a strong CrossFit woman and then if I get close to that, I'm doing okay in life. <laughs> Shoot, I'd like to be as lean as some of them, honestly. Oh, pff, Dude, they're machines. It's 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 quite incredible. You do coach some high level athletes too, right? Um, you, there's a lot of there's a lot of athletes that come to the gym. Yeah. Um, so I do nutrition coaching for Will Morad, who's uh, like a three time, four time games guy. Um, and then Sydney Wells, who's um, oh, yeah. Brooke's sister. Yeah. Uh, so I have, uh, she, and she's just getting into it, dude. You're gonna hear about she's her. She's really into different. it. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So she's. I mean, she's impressive, and she has a day job. Oh my like, goodness gracious! Yeah, that's so okay. she's working working hard. Um, I got a couple other. Uh, gosh, a lot of older games yeah. athletes, like masters athletes. Okay, probably about seven of them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it, what, it's yeah, it's what, pretty cool. That's awesome. What kind of advice would you? give to people aspiring to compete right now you know specifically Man. in crossfit uh, shit's not getting easier no the bar keeps getting i mean there's 17 no, year olds snatching more than me i feel really bad about myself seriously like <laughs> i mean these the kids that are coming up now never played team sports they just went right into crossfit it's freaking you know insane. so i mean if if you're a young person trying to get into it i would say you know do your best to learn proper technique and build from there. Yeah. Uh, one of the, the best things, Rich Froning's probably about an hour and a half away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are and right. they were talking about Angelo DeSico mm-hmm. and how they built him up. He They wouldn't let him go over 95 pounds until his technique was impeccable. That makes sense. So, yeah. I mean, and the problem is people want more fast, and that's what's going to lead to injuries. So, yeah. Um, I've uh, had to slow down on purpose to not get injured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm perpetually injured, um, yeah. but I I believe that's from a lot of what thirty years of not stretching. Yeah, same. I mean, I have injuries, <laughs> right? But yeah. oh yeah, you know, it's either they're bothering me so bad that I'm not going to work out, but if I feel like I can work out most of the days. Yeah, I call it a win. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, "This shouldn't. I shouldn't do this." Yeah. <laughs> but, you, you know, are you still using a, a Whoop at all, or uh, an or, or, or ring? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Did you order the 4.0? I did. It, uh, did it already come out? No, but they're taking pre-orders, so they'll probably will probably not get it till next year. Or I mean, I, I ordered it. It's <laughs> supposed to come out. I think it was supposed to be sent out this week. Oh really? Okay. I just. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should pay attention to those things more. It's like the iPhone, man. They just oh, there's going to be new ones coming out all the time. I know. I do love it yeah. though. It's it's interesting. Like, I, well, you like me, data is yes. is analytics are, are incredibly important. So yes, it is. Uh, the cool thing about the new one is that the push technology that's involved in it. I, I had one of the push original push bands. Really? Okay. And it's the way it measures is is movement based. Yeah. So tying the two together with you know biometrics and movement based i mean i think it's going to be i I think it's going to be really good way more accurate than oh yeah well this thing i don't i don't trust the calorie burn on this thing at all well i have a hard time believing my heart rate's at 204 when i'm doing double unders i mean it feels like it but i don't have a hard time believing my heart rate gets like 190 plus when i do dubs i swear it's just uh i mean obviously there's some flaws to it because if you just shake your arm like this like it perpetually increases your heart rate so i just figured it's from me rigorously trying to do a double under (laughs) i'm actually having a heart attack when i do them yeah yeah (laughs) 
Yeah. So <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels like that. So. No, no, yeah, you're not. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, trust me. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's something that I wish I could. I actually I I work with uh, Dave Newman who owns uh, RX Smart Gear. You just gotta relax, yeah. right? Like it's <laughs> he's like he's giving me all these drills, and I'm like I'm doing them. I'm doing good. I'm like watch this. He's like that's great. Now try double unders, and I do them, and it's like they look the same. <laughs> Dude. all right oh, <laughs> i'm gonna man. keep working i feel like the less i do them the better i get at them though it's kind of odd like i just randomly the more in. tired i am oh yeah the better i am yeah, yeah you know sometimes i i do feel like when i'm a little more tired i can do them better because uh, i have to pay attention a little bit more and yeah uh, hold on one sec i think i'm getting some yeah. feed, feedback from something Oh, I think it's yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you heard it. Uh, it was it was like buzzing in my ears. But um, the uh, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Double under suck. If you guys didn't already know that, but yeah, you know, we're not a no, 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 no. I you know it's funny. I I really I really enjoy at least always doing the major lifts. You know, squat, mm. deadlift, clean skip snatch day and then go to whatever his overhead press is <laughs> <laughs> I, i've i've had to skip snatch day i think uh, i i have a slight tear in my my either my labrum or my supraspinatus mm. um so I've, I've i haven't gone overhead much in the last three months oh wow but um yeah. i'm and i'm fine with that <laughs> it's, yeah i never feel bad when i miss that day i'm like oh i scheduled yeah. clients during our training sessions darn <laughs> oh man <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll never skip deadlift day. It's no, my favorite same. Lift. Even when my back doesn't feel good, I'm like I shouldn't feel it in my back anyway, so I'll still do it. <laughs> That's not normal. Don't worry about no, that. No, it's okay. It's just herniating my <laughs> discs. <laughs> They're all just one disc now. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. It just gives you uh, more rigidity, so you don't bend. <laughs> yeah, it's like fusion. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So let, let me ask you this, man. So like with, with everything that's been going on, has there been, have you seen an influx at all in people wanting to improve their health? You know, over the last, what, we're almost going on two years. Two years uh, yeah. I would say in the last two years have been the best two years that I've had as, you know, a business owner. Um, nice. The years before that were good, yeah. but like it's all of a sudden it's, I was kind of set up for it. I was set up. I have a home gym that I train clients out of and I work from home. So people would come to the house even yeah. though like they yeah. couldn't go anywhere else. Yeah. First so I had people from the gym come to the house. I, it was just, it seemed to work out really well. Um, you know, obviously I don't, I don't want to you know, thrive on someone else's misfortune, but you know, I'm not going to turn down people coming to get, no, get healthy. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. 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 There's been, at least on in, on my end, I've seen a huge influx of people actually, they're like, look, I, I obviously want to lose weight, but I'm really concerned about my health, mm -hmm. which is very different than what most of the time, what, what I've usually experienced throughout the majority of my career. It's always been like, yeah, I want abs. I'm like, well, I know you want to see them, but you know, like, have you ever seen them to begin with? Right. Like, yeah. And that, that's, that's, I always find like, that's, that's a huge indicating factor. If they've ever even been that lean, yeah. like the likelihood of them being that lean again, you know, a lot higher than somebody that's never been that lean at yeah. all. You know, not to say it's not possible, but, um, I mean, there are, are very many people coming to you where, you know, looking for very specific physique goals. You know, so I've kind of transitioned away from the that that world, yeah. um, the physique stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I I got a lot of pushback because I was I was trying to show people that you didn't have to do the cardio, you didn't have you just manipulate your diet and make sure that you you know you did some resistance training and you were going to be okay. And I had a bunch of people do really well, and then it just became like a hassle. Mm -hmm. And you know when vitamin S gets brought into things, it's yeah. I kind of back off. I, I just I'm like, there's there's plenty of people down here yeah. that are willing to go down that road, work with someone and and push them in that direction. I'm just not that guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that come in and they're like, well, I just want to see some of the hard work that I want that that I'm doing. 
or they they do they come in with that whole like yeah i gotta see my abs and i'm like <laughs> well it, well there's you're usually... at 30 percent body fat we're really probably not going to get there anytime soon no but you know you got to go through all the rest of the alphabet to get the c first right you know, and, and that's the crazy thing. I think the the realistic expectations, and it's my job to set that. It's like, all right, oh, yeah. if if you want this, there's ten steps before that. Mm. All right, so we have to hit those, and then maybe we'll get there. And it's still a like kind of a guess at that point because yeah. we don't know what it looks like under there. It it may no. not look good. No, not maybe not the way they want. <laughs> You know, and, and that's the, another thing. Like people bring used to bring in pictures of people that they wanted to look oh, like. I'm like. Well, now they just bring in their phones and be like, I'm "Yeah, they're on Instagram. Hey, I want to look like her yeah, or him." Like this. It's like Shoot, me, me I too. Didn't not like abs. <laughs> I didn't even know I had abs until like I started, you know, focusing on it. I was yeah. a 200 pounds sixth grader, so I, I didn't see much abs. Really, you're a big, yeah. you're a big kid. I was thick. Yeah, <laughs> two C's or three. It was like six. <laughs> there was a lot of C's. Oh, man. So were you always a big kid? Yeah. I mean, I was – I mean, gosh, I'm the same weight now as I was in sixth grade. So, <laughs> But I'm assuming you weren't this tall. <laughs> no. um, but, I mean, I think – and a lot of that shaped me and in, in how I look at things and, and how I look – at weight loss and all the the whole industry as itself because i mean i i worked myself into an eating disorder and then i had to work my way out what did that so, look like like tell me a little more about that because I, 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 I do find the eating disorder things kind of it, really important to understand obviously yeah. we're not treating people you know clinically or anything like that but yeah understanding it is super important to, so, and I'll work with people who are topical eating disorders that yeah. we can work through. But like, if it's deep, I'm sending them to yeah, a, a therapist. Yep. Yeah, I'm not. That's not my my cup of tea. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give someone information that you know could or could not hurt them. Yeah. Um, exactly. But yeah, I mean, so I I was just getting into this industry. I I had already worked with um, like I I usually I start out at, at a point where it's just like what do you go from here? Like, cause I was working with, uh, Metrix or metrics or whatever oh, we call yeah. it. I was one of the, I was at the Olympia and I was at the Arnold classic. Um, I had some friends that got me involved in that. So, I mean, two of the biggest shows right off the jump, yeah. I'm, I'm a booth. Well, I guess they call them booth bitches. Um, but <laughs> we'll call I it was, the booth boy. No. <laughs> yeah. Booth boy. Um, <laughs> Is swearing okay? Because I've sworn oh, a lot. Oh, yeah. No, I swear on every podcast. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I try not but to, I mean, but I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I started there, and then I was like, all right, what do I do now? And I had minimal – this is prior to me getting involved with Max Muscle. It was, it was, I had minimal um, nutritional training, so I was eating my tilapia and broccoli, and I was miserable SOB, and, you know, it was, it was a, not a good – good place for me to be and then all of a sudden i started the binging and purging mm. um and i literally had to sit myself down and be like what are you like what is the purpose yeah what are we getting at you're not i mean do you do you want to be a fitness model i'm like not nah, really i don't even like taking my shirt off in front of people <laughs> so like i had a, I had to be realistic with myself and i had to work logically rather than emotionally um, and I think that's a big distinguishing factor for me is making sure that I understood what I was doing to myself. Yeah. Cause that can go south real fast, right? Real bad. Yeah. How, how long did you deal with that? Like how long was that roughly? Um, gosh, probably three to five months. Oh man. Well, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, did, did you, did it just subtly start or was it just kind of like, a well, little bit at a time or boom or just like fuck it we're trying this you know <laughs> i'm you know it, it kind of like came from like all right well i had too much of something and i just went up and threw it up and i'm like yeah oh okay i can do that whoa man you no know i could do that yeah. but i can do that and then it just kind of like snowballed yeah. um and you know you have inadequacies from youth and you have all that stuff that's coming up and I mean, kids down here, like I went to school 
sixth through ninth grade down here and it was like going to school in an abercrombie ad oh my goodness yeah. yeah but so like but i'm the kid in the back of the store who's folding stock <laughs> like yeah. i'm the chubby kid with a bowl cut you know and <laughs> kids 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 were and i can't imagine how it is now because it's 24 oh, 7 it's yeah it's on their damn phone or yeah that's and that's brutal yeah yeah but i mean i at least got a reprieve at night <laughs> yeah that's you know? true that's true so but i mean yeah i, I mean I, you you kind of fall into it and and then if no one knows about it, which no one knew about mine, yeah. um, you know, it's even easier just to continue to hide it. And I, I think it, when I started trying to help other people, yeah, it kind of pulled me out. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you, if you really want what's best for your clients, then that's not a direction that you want anyone to go. No, not at all. And how can you help someone if? you're in that position so you gotta pull yourself True. out and that's kind of what i did that's what i always find kind of interesting sometimes is when you see people dishing out advice that you can look at them you know they're not taking their own advice and yeah I, I always you know i don't think everybody needs to look like a damn fitness model but i mean it's pretty obvious when people aren't taking care of themselves <laughs> you know, yeah like, and General. Who wants to take advice from someone that looks worse than them, you know? Yeah, they do, though. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some great marketing out there. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's. I've always thought the fact that, like, and I've had people sit across from me, and I'm sure you have, too. They're like, I don't want to look like you, <laughs> but, like, I want to be leaner than I am. And I'm like, don't worry. Don't You're not going to look like me. <laughs> Uh, I work my ass off all day and I eat perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. To to be some something that I would I would look at and be like, all right, I, I could I feel comfortable with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's 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 the thing. It's like being do you feel like uh you know over over everything, like what's the thing that you find uh that people probably need most overall in the sense of what they're getting out of, of working with you or just pursuing health and fitness in general uh, i mean balance yeah you know it's it's for a lot of people it's 100 percent or nothing and it, yeah. if you take if you take nutrition that way there's going to be a lot of nothing which is a lot of failure i yeah. mean and you can't look at failure uh, i call it the fuck it's yeah it's like all right well i messed up a meal i'm just going down the rabbit hole yeah yeah Call it effing and, syndrome. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I think, I feel like if it's, if you focus on balance and that's balance of nutrition, balance of life, balance of fitness, balance of like being social, mm -hmm. all that stuff has to fit in together. It's not a bunch of separate balls. It's all one ball yeah. with all pieces and yeah. you have to find the best way to fit that. And I would say balance is the key there. Yeah. Well, balance is, Balance is, is more of a relative thing, I would imagine, for people. I mean, because you, yeah, you, you probably different. you have you have balance in your life, but mm -hmm. I don't think most people want to train as hard or as much or be as yeah. attentive to their diet as uh, you are. You know, well, they don't get to eat as much as me. Then that's true. <laughs> yeah. So I am. I, I always tell people. I tell clients. I'm like, the leaner you are, the more fun we can have. This is very know? true. Yeah. So I mean. The more muscle you have, the leaner you are, you have a lot more flexibility. It, I mean, <laughs> it makes up for a mistake here and there. It makes up for, you know, if you have, you know, 21 meals in a week and you have mm -hmm. 18 good ones, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You know, what about if you, you have, have, yeah, I, <laughs> sorry, I got, oh, no, I was saying, what about when you, when you're, um, you know, someone's new to training and mm -hmm. they they want to, to get better like what mm -hmm. but in in their progression like do you find that they that that it's hard for people to reach that point where they're actually um willing to push a little more you know like because some i think people well, who don't come from a background in sports or or just regular exercise are very adverse to pain you know, or maybe maybe it's just they think it just depends right well and and that's so when I first started coaching CrossFit, it yeah. was one of those things where it was like, I compete. Everyone should want to compete. Everyone should want to go at this like a hundred percent every day. <laughs> and there's, there's really 
so few mm -hmm. people that want to do that. And, and I had to come to the realization that that's okay. Yeah. Whatever their fitness and whatever their output is that day, that's what we're going to get. So yeah, let's just maximize that. Yeah. Um, and I, my 6 a.m. class that I, I no longer coach, but I used to coach uh, 5 and 6 a.m., um, they taught me that. they Because there's so many different personalities. There's so many – There's the, the dichotomy of the class was just – it was like a melting pot of, of strange personalities. <laughs> and um, I love all those people immensely yeah. for what they've helped, helped me kind of realize. Hmm. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's it's one of those things where I think that it, everyone has to understand how much they want to push. Um, and if you fall back on your basics, yeah, move well, move properly, and then you know add intensity if you feel comfortable adding intensity. If you don't, then you know wait or don't at all. Yeah. So it, it's really up to the individual. It's just like nutrition: how far you want to go shows you how strict you need to be. Yeah, that's very true, actually. You know, yeah, it's, it's pretty fascinating watching, uh, you know, I mean, because I'm pretty much inside of a CrossFit gym yeah. all day. And so mm -hmm. watching watching people uh, uh, train, I mean, it, it, it's, it's fascinating watching the different personalities and all that. And, yeah. you know, that's one thing I won't never do again is train people ever again. But I just I don't have the patience for it anymore. Back in the I don't train CrossFitters. I train youth athletes. Yeah. Like, that's all I all I work with nice. uh, individually, um, and it's it's great because you can actually teach them, and they haven't learned anything bad yet. Yeah, I was gonna say you're getting a clean slate with most of yeah. them, right? Exactly. Do you ever see that they're? Uh, uh, you know, it's interesting. Like we get a ton of student athletes through here, and one of the things that used to drive me nuts, I don't see it too often, but uh, it, anymore. But I did at one point where it seemed like the parents were vigorously trying to live vicariously through their children, but so far to the point to where they're, they would, they would bring their daughters in for a consultation. And I think they want to like, Hey, how do we help them perform better and all that? Mm -hmm. And it's about like weight loss. And I'm like, wait, they're, they don't need to lose weight. What are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, yeah, no, they would probably run a little faster. I'm like, they're 13. They're not overweight. Like legitimately they're not, you can visually look. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? I'm like looking at them. I'm like, and I remember a couple of times I was so fed up. I was like, well, you know, I don't think you're coming from a position that you can, you can, I don't think you could speak on that right now. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, well, you're really out of shape. Like, and if you can't take care of yourself and you think that your daughter's out of shape, like, I don't know. I think you're delusional. Nonetheless, I don't think they liked it very much, but, uh, yeah, I, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> People don't like the truth though. And I think if you, this is part of the personality issue that, that I have with a lot of a lot of people have with me, more or less. <laughs> I, I, I'm not very soft. Like mm. I, it's this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. And if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to put the effort forward, then w this is not gonna work. Like yeah, this, it true. evolves over a period of time. Your nutrition changes. Everything is going to what we put you on day one is not gonna be the last day. No. It's not. It's gonna be different. But if you're not willing to do it. Mm -hmm. don't don't give me money yeah because i i feel like i i work to you know help people and if you're not going to allow me to help you then i don't want your money yeah no i agree i, I couldn't agree more i wouldn't say that's not being soft you're just a realist and i <laughs> there's some personality clashes on occasion let's just say that <laughs> Eh, that's normal. That's normal. But my face, it doesn't change when I say things. So people are like, is he being a dick or is he <laughs> joking? And I'm like, you'll never know. You'll never know. 99% <laughs> of the time I'm joking, but some people just don't like it. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, man. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> what, uh, I don't know, man. Is there anything you want to add overall to... You know, just anything else that's going on that you want to. You know, I, I mean, we have we have a few <laughs> things going on at the gym. Um, Will Morad's wife uh, 
came down with uh, breast cancer. So oh, we're putting man. a, yeah, um, we're putting a fundraiser on October 9th uh, and people can donate to that. Um, it's, it's just supporting the community and making sure that, you know, they know that we have their back through the process. Um, gosh, what else is up? We just had our Masters Fitness Collective Championship, CrossFit Championship, so that's passed. We're going to start building out next year. Um, mm -hmm. You're old enough. You can – You can. Yeah, I'm never going to compete in anything. <laughs> I've competed so much throughout my life. I don't want to compete. <laughs> Listen, you're, you compete every day. You uh, know you do. Oh, yeah, just against my brother when we work out together. As long as I beat him exactly. in the wad, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Listen, he's got bigger arms than you. It's – this is true. I don't appreciate yeah. you bringing that up. No. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you've been sitting there flexing on me a little bit all, all the whole oh, podcast. No. So, oh, you know, I just wanted to be like, I see him right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to come in here. No. <laughs> you see his biceps first. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just like tri tip sitting there off of his shoulder. Oh <laughs> uh, no, nah, yeah, no, no more competitive honestly, stuff. I mean, I, I don't think that there's a, a whole lot that I could wanna. I would add to that. I think that we just, you know, like you said, uh, I mean, you you were kind of the guy that, like, Diane started me, um, but you were the guy that when we went down to Orange to do our our training for when I bought oh, my store, I remember that. You were the dude that was kind of like inspiring to me. So you know, anytime you ask me to come on something, I'm I'm all about it. Oh, I appreciate uh, it, man. <laughs> appreciate it dude yeah it's it's freaking amazing to watch people like you just thrive like it's great seriously you know yeah and i, um, always, I appreciate it. always enjoy talking with you anyway so we'll definitely have to bring you on again we'll uh we'll hammer some uh some crazy topics maybe specific more specific i just wanted to get you on and we'll have, have, have on. yeah we'll get ryan on and we'll we'll uh, we'll compare biceps all together or something love it i have <laughs> extremely long arms it's not going to work for me that's why uh, i tell ryan but, that's why they don't look big my arms i got six eight wingspan it's not fair <laughs> do you really yeah it's stupid i got gorilla arms six man. eight yeah it's, yes yes i'm Shit, barely, i thought mine was a lot i'm six four from finger to finger yeah i'm five yeah. eleven it was really useful when I uh, when I was fighting though. So yes, yeah. <laughs> it was great when I was playing football because I could catch passes. Like yeah, exactly. Out. Yeah, it uh, sucks for CrossFit generally. Terrible it's overhead. Terrible. Oh yeah, I don't yeah, even want to talk. Yeah, exactly. But you know, <laughs> nonetheless, I'm just going to make excuses. <laughs> and that's you know what? That's my excuse too. So yeah. we're good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you know, we'll. Uh, I'm gonna post some links in in, in when we cool. post this up so people know where to find you. What's your uh, your IG handle again? It's two seven health and wellness. The number two seven, mm -hmm. um, and then health and wellness, all spelled out. There you go. Or you can find you on Facebook, right? Yeah, I'm around. Yeah, here and there. I'm old. I've been on Facebook since the it, it first started. I feel. I so think, I think I was too. I pre I was yeah. That was during the uh, the heydays. You still have your oh. MySpace? <laughs> I, I have no idea. It's, I'm sure it's out there. You should look it up. No. <laughs> Crap. I didn't even know it was still a website. I, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a music My, my top eight friends definitely are still the same. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Well, appreciate you coming on, dude. And I'll, uh, we'll talk again. All right, brother. Appreciate you. All right. Take it easy. Have a good one. Uh -huh.